My name is Frida Weisel, and on this channel, I explore the world of the strict Hasidic Jews. Today, we're going to find out what happens on the one day of the year when a great many people in this community get drunk. Usually, the people of the enclave of Hasidic Williamsburg, one of the most closed-off Jewish neighborhoods, rush through the streets with purpose, a general air of restraint, seriousness, with little room for outward letting loose. The community takes great pride in shunning hedonism for what's seen as higher values, so teenagers don't go wild, marriages are set up by matchmakers, and although there is a place for ceremonial drinking, what we think of as partying culture is not acceptable here. Instead, what is prioritized is family, serving God, modesty, charity, community, tradition. In the streets, people usually carry themselves with dignified comportment. And then there is Purim. One day that people are allowed to really let go, to drink, to dance, and party. I'm happy to be a Jew! Hello! You know, you know, we... Do you drink? A little bit? <laughs> Just a little. To be cheerful. To be cheerful. It's a very cheerful day. Same look for him. Yes, you too. It's one time of the year that you can be somebody else. The inside stays always the same. The outside is what helps you to grow, not to grow. It helps you to guide you. So it's one time of the year that I'm dressing up as somebody that I look up to. I've never been here during peak Purim because frankly, I was nervous of what an evening of drunk Hasidim would look like. Today is the day to find out. So Purim is a holiday when Jews celebrate the story of the Book of Esther, in which a Jewish woman, Esther, becomes queen of Persia and stops the genocide of the Jews. On Purim, it's a mitzvah, a commandment to be joyous. People put on costumes, give out wads of cash to various charitable causes, listen to the reciting of the Book of Esther, eat and give great food. Come on in. And the men get drunk. It's literally a mitzvah for them to get drunk on Purim. So today we're here to find out what goes down in the evening when the drinking really gets serious. experience this is my third time doing this the weather is so beautiful and they all are amazing yeah are they good to you yes they are good what would you say is the environment on the bus festive family oriented and it's a lot of fun do you find that they drink within control yes absolutely they are well behaved it smells like alcohol on this bus wines oh let's get off i think they're coming <laughs> Well, as the night fell, the partying continued. People filed out of the homes to the synagogues where the rabbis continued to head giant ceremonies. As a YouTuber who focuses on this community, 
I've never before seen anything close to what happened tonight. I did a morning Purim live stream for my channel and the mood then was reserved, rushed, serious. Now everyone was oozing warmth, unbridled joy, blessings to each other. I got fed traditional stuffed cabbage, I got gifts of food, and I felt completely swept up in things. Some people didn't know me, many people did. Leave a comment and I'll send you the, the footage where you're in it. Some insisted they only speak to me in Yiddish, others explained to me the most rudimentary Jewish concepts, assuming I knew nothing. But all around, everyone was friendly. Truly a highlight in my career. Thanks for sharing, watching, joining me. As we say on Purim, Simchas Tamid, may you have a joyous day every day.